In this video, we're going to show the process of adding a NAS device, like a Drobo, to Retrospect so you can use it as a backup source. The first thing you would do is go to Sources inside Retrospect and then click on the Add button. After you click Add, you need to click on Share, and then you would enter in the path to the NAS device. And you can use AFP colon slash slash, and then the IP address, and then the share name of that device. In this case, we're going to do this as an SMB volume. So I'm going to enter an SMB colon slash slash the IP address to my Drobo or NAS device, and then I enter in the share name. The share name is something you would have pre-configured on the actual hardware before you got to this point. And then you would enter in the username and password for authentication. Once you've added it to Retrospect, you can then go to Backup. In this case, we'll switch to a Custom Backup. And then we choose the NAS device as our source, because that's what we want to back up. We're going to choose All Files, where we can use one of the built-in rules. I'm going to click Continue. I have a previous media set configured, so I can select that media set as my destination. And then I click on Continue. And then this will give you a summary of what Retrospect is going to do. And it's going to back up this Drobo NAS device to the media set A, which could be on an external hard drive or in the cloud or on a tape device.